Hey, church, have I told you lately that I love you? Because I do. Listen, I love the way that Denton Wesleyan Church doesn't just come to church, but you become the church every day of the week. You are the church. You are the hands and the feet of Christ. I love the way you love on people in the name of Jesus and for the kingdom's sake. Uh, it, it, even this week, watching you as you serve through the Champ Center meal and even in an impromptu opportunity in our prayer service on Wednesday night where, where the travelers came through. We're going to be talking a little bit about that on Sunday morning. Uh, and, and, and if you miss the service, you can catch it on the video uh, of the service that will be aired online from the January 22nd service. You don't want to miss it. I, I love the way that you are the church. And listen, uh, it's a joy. Uh, for me as a pastor to, to serve alongside of you uh, where we walk hand in hand in, in what the kingdom of God has laid before us to do. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today in this viral video about uh, a little more about how we grow as we become ambassadors and disciples and evangelists. This past Sunday, we talked about the, the way that those three work together. They fit us into becoming that child of God, that, that one that is expressing and becoming in the kingdom purpose, uh, uh, that, that, that ambassador, right, that, that moves from, from having to to becoming a disciple that wants to, and then ultimately our life becomes that of a, of a perpetual sharing of the gospel as evangelists, as ones that, that naturally and completely share the good news. The evangelist, he just recognizes that he gets to, and, and he's excited about it. And, and, and just a couple of quick things I want to share with you about how that happens and the, the expanded sermon videos will, will give you a little more insight as well. But, but first, I want you to know that this idea of getting to be ambassadors for Christ, it is not a put on, right? There, there are some uh, uh, how-to videos out there and, and training seminars that will tell you in the place of trying to sell something, they'll say, fake it until you make it. Well, well, there's certainly not a place in the kingdom of God where you have to fake it. As a matter of fact, it's more of a set-free moment where you can stop faking it and you can put on Christ. In, in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to 30, it says this. It says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, Jesus says, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. And get this, he says, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Uh, are you tired? He said. Are you worn out? Maybe, maybe are you burned out on religion and trying to become something that, that's foreign to this, this person. Well, you see, it's foreign to you because you are still living in the old me. But as you become new, as Paul writes, uh, the new creature puts off the old. And so you become reconciled in, into what it is that, that Jesus and God desires for you to be. Jesus says, come to me, and I'll give you the rest that only comes from that reconciled relationship with God. One writer talking about this passage says that when we put on the yoke of Jesus, we learn, I love this, the rhythms of grace. The rhythms of grace. Second, maybe more important is, is the fact that it's not just simply a learned behavior. We're not in a learned behavior. It, it is a, it's a transformed existence. Everything about you is new. Everything about you is becoming new. It's becoming transformed. Your goals. We're going to be preaching an entire series in February going into the first part of March uh, on, on hashtag goals. Uh, the, the relationships and the workforce and all of the things that are goals and dreams and ambitions in our life, how they can be placed into the kingdom purpose. My, my goals change when I become an ambassador for Christ. My passions change. My principles change. My mission changes. We are all being transformed as our purpose in Christ becomes clear in those rhythms of grace. Now be sure to check out the, the, the entire video sermon from January the 22nd. It's going to bring a lot more of this to life. 
But church, until then, you are ambassadors. And you are yoked with Christ Jesus. The burden's easy. The burden's light. God bless you as you serve him.